What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Impromptu Bourbon Sessions. I'm Courtney. I'm Gloria. And welcome back again to Impromptu Bourbon Sessions. Um, right now, we're not really sipping on no bourbon. You know, no. I'm on some medication right now, so I'm, I don't even think it's safe to drink alcohol, but <laughs> I might make me drink next episode, next episode. Just going to make you a little sleepy, that's all. Well, no, I mean, I just don't want, you know, to fall out of here by myself and the only you person right, that cause, cause London, can't can wake me up nobody. is London, so... <laughs> Um, all right, well, first off, um, I want to let you guys know, like, I know we uh, are quite a few episodes in, but I want to let y'all know, like, the audio from the first, what, four episodes is a little janky, you know, but we work things out. We got a new, um, what's this thing called, mixer or whatever, so the sound is way better, um, but we definitely pre- uh, appreciate y'all support and listening to us and laughing at us and sending in um topics shout out to my man uh not my man my boy my, my, my homie boy, my, my, boy. my homie my bro <laughs> my bad my bro my boy <laughs> shout out to my bro van for sending in some comments we're definitely gonna uh talk about those uh those topics um in the future episodes so appreciate you van well, then shout out to, said uh, i need to talk louder oh no nah, that's uh russ oh, russell okay. he russ. out in uh russ out in um did he say the Bahamas or he said St. Lucia? He he in St. Lucia right now um, nice. at a Santa's re- uh, resort. But he was like, "Yeah, tell your girl she need a she need a mic. She need to change her mic out." Oh my god! <laughs> you think we didn't know that? I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good, you know. We just playing around with stuff, so you know. But we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Yeah. Um. All right. So let's go ahead and start this up. Well, first off, how are you? I know it's been a while since we've recorded. So I'm good. You know, I don't have no complaints. I could complain, but why? Um. I just say, um, I guess I don't think new happened. <laughs> so I celebrated my 40th birthday, y'all. Damn. And guess what? Happy belated birthday, <laughs> bitch. On my birthday, I said, you know what? 40 will be one for the books. Oh, Whoa, let's yeah. talk about how 40 started <laughs> off. <laughs> the day after my birthday, y'all. Not even fucking 12 hours later, I got T-boned in a car accident. Totaled my car. Walked Thank away with no scratches, boots, brunch, you know. God. Bumps up bruises, which I'm grateful for. Um, but I just was like, damn, words really have power. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, but I'm good, y'all. I'm good, y'all. Yeah, I'm glad you're good. Yeah, I'm like sitting at work and then she texts me. So I'm like, oh, this is probably a good morning text. And he was like, I've just been in a bad accident. Like she gave me like the paragraph, like she reported to me. <laughs> like, hey, hey, just I let you know. know. <laughs> you know, they was going to try to make me stay in the hospital. Even though I'm telling them I'm okay. Yeah. You know, I just went because, you know, I don't want no shit when right. I retire. Right. Um, I don't think, I mean, it wasn't nothing that ibuprofen couldn't take care of. You yeah. know, I'm old enough to know how to. Fix my own problems. Yeah. Um, Are you yeah. still working through? I don't want to call it PTSD, but that may be some kind, of, some a type of bit. form of it. You know, last time I talked to you, was like, you know, you still thinking about it, still replays in your mind. Like what happened? Every time I get in the car and I come to a red light, or you know, like definitely at that intersection, mm-hmm. I just start thinking like, what the fuck? Like going through, like what happened? What went wrong? You know. Um, but you know, life goes on. Life is about growing through our issues and getting better. So all I can do is, cause one of the things was, um, you know, Kayla's driving now mm-hmm. and she was driving, um, a few days ago and she had the right of way. She was making a right turn and everything on a red light. Mm-hmm. But I told her because of that accident, I was like, you know, one thing that I would like for you to do is just sit here for a few extra seconds because she had turned, granted she did have the right of way. Obviously I'm on the passenger side, so I'm watching. Mm-hmm. I said, but you didn't have enough time to thoroughly scan that intersection. Right. And real, when I say accidents happen in a split second, I was like, I just don't want you to be one of those really young drivers that, you know, is in a bad accident. Mm-hmm. Cause you know, my accident, it's a, it, it ain't, we want no, but nothing but nobody, but God that, I walked away the way that I did because mm-hmm. it looked like uh, my my car door looked like a, a grizzly tried to get it in like there. Like transformers can't it do did. it. <laughs> it looked like a grizzly <laughs> tried to get in there. You know what I mean? So I just I just it the because of that I hadn't had an accident in like twenty years. Mm-hmm. So I think every time I get to the intersection, I definitely sit there a little bit long. And the people behind me probably be blowing like fucking move, and yeah. I'm just like trying to get my shit together. Like, okay, let me make sure because yeah. maybe if I looked maybe a third time or whatever, maybe the accident wouldn't happen. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, but, um, you know, I live. I mean, a lot of times us as black people, we don't realize we that trauma that we've experienced is actually PTSD. Mm-hmm. And we also don't realize like how 
certain things like getting to work safe, getting home safe. It's a blessing. Getting, getting to yeah, getting to every destination that we're trying to get to. It is a blessing every single time. Like you know, when I lay down and say my prayers, thank you God for waking me up this morning. Uh-huh. Thank you for letting me live through this day. Like I really, really you know appreciate it. And then um, one one big thing that I learned after my accident was was years ago is you don't always have to be in a rush. Like even if you running late, okay, yeah. cool. You gonna get there when you get there. I feel there. like if you running late, you already late. Like exactly. what's this? You know what I mean? What <laughs> right. the hell? You, you trying to get there? You trying to be late like five minutes later right. instead of ten? Like right. you're not late is late. Right. It wasn't even that. That wasn't even the situation. I was just coming home from the work from the gym. And the crazy thing is, I remember like as I was driving because this, this happened a block away from my house. One of the uh, things I was thinking about, because we were about to have a zone inspection. So I'm thinking about, in my mind, I'm going through, okay, we need this, this, and this. Going through I need checklist. this many people going through my checklist. And as I'm, um, you know what I'm saying? This, this is the conversation I'm having with myself on my way home mm-hmm. from the gym. And I was just like, and then that shit happened. I was just like... Yo, y'all, that shit was crazy. It was like some Fast and the Furious shit. Well, I'm glad like, you. <laughs> like, I'm what glad is you happening? Are okay, like, yeah. <laughs> when I saw that text, I was like, "You okay? You good? Like, what's going on?" But I'm glad everything yeah, worked out. Yeah. Cool. All right, so today we're gonna talk about um, some relationship based type topics. Wait, we ain't talk about how you doing. Oh, well, I'm good. I'm, uh, oh, okay. That's it. I mean. Th- okay, she good, y'all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, no. Nah, um, so, uh, one thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to put it out there right okay, now. Okay, then no. Yeah, if, I'm if like, that question I'm mad, mark, I had to, yeah, we'll think I'm about like, it. We'll talk. The light bulb went on, but then the question. Dis- well, yeah, my heart was like, <laughs> do you really want to put this out right now? <laughs> but, no, nah, I've been kicking it. Um <laughs> I switched up my diet. Uh, just I'm just trying to do things different yeah. this time around this year. Like like I th- talked about last uh, last couple of episodes. Focus on me. Um, I I haven't started writing back to writing my book, but I have started been putting like notes and stuff together and stuff like that. Um, I will say one thing that I'm kind of like I'm not ashamed of, but is <laughs> what me and Kayla was talking about at the house the other day, baddies, the TV show baddies. <laughs> <laughs> be no, because it's such <laughs> ratchet television, but that shit draws you in. Watching way worse shit than that. I think people that watch Real like, Housewives like earlier like, you ratchet. Like, like earlier today, I was so I started watching Baddies <laughs> East and they was talking about how the house in DC was old or whatever. I was like, well run up, bitch. Let, don't be talking about fucking DC. <laughs> I'm like, you know you're talking to the TV, right? You're the only person in the room, like relax. Relax. These girls is not coming for you, but it's like, you know, it's just fun to talk back to the TV and talk trash. And honestly, them fighting is entertainment. Mm-hmm. Like the way these girls be fighting, like one girl, she had like four or five knots on her forehead. <laughs> her her lip was like drooped well, to the side because then she started to swell remember up. Remember the uh, cartoon of how many, how many lumps with your life? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all. But that TV, yo, that TV show is crazy. It's crazy. I mean, I don't think so. it's anything to be ashamed of. I think it's something good for you because it is an outlet. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're getting older. We gotta, we gotta get creative. You know, we if we don't prioritize prioritize our mental health, mm-hmm. our physical health, then you know we'll be ended up like looking like cottage cheese, and we don't want that because black don't crack. Right? Know? Exactly. I'm just saying. I need to figure out my diet. What like my diet is off, so. Like, I'll drink something in the morning. It'll be, like, a hot chocolate or something from Starbucks. I'll still drink my water throughout the day, but I've been eating, like, yogurt, and then, like, that's it. And then I'll come home and, like, make a little, like, a little rinky-dink little kid sandwich, and then that's it. I'm good for the day. So I'm just, like, I know I'm not getting all yeah, the nutrients and stuff to, that just, I need. Yeah, just add a couple more snacks in there. Probably. Yeah, but I'm just, like, you know, um, my body is, like, well, you're not really hungry. You're not really thinking about food. But it's, like, I'm almost, almost like, forcing myself to eat, which is weird. I don't know mm-hmm. what's going on. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe water is Bitch, I wish I had a fourth fulfilling my eat. appetite. <laughs> I don't know. So My ass is greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, look, I be thinking about food. That's like, that makes me happy. She just said my ass be greedy. Thinking about food, cooking food. Like, I just get that. That takes me to a happy place. Yeah, but, I, and I love food, but I used to be at the point where, you know, you bored, so you're going to go eat some food. And I don't want to get back like that. Yes, I don't you do know that I mean? so much. I think as I've gotten older, I definitely don't do that. Um, but talk about yogurt. So I've, I've been eating, I haven't eaten like, dairy like for real for real other than like cheese mm-hmm. for probably like the last maybe six or seven years so i started eating yogurt 
I don't I don't know. There ain't no dietitian or nothing like that. I don't know if this is the if this is why, but I noticed that I have like it looked like eczema on the back of my damn neck now. That's the only I sat and I thought like what the fuck did I change? You think because of the weather maybe? I don't think so. I mean, it be itching. I be in hell. I be like, this is what people feel like. like but you got fleas? You better man, I be, it. man, listen, it be itching. <laughs> but I have some um, CeraVe with ceramides because, you know, I put that on Jaden when her little dry butt. Okay. Um, and I put that on my neck and that usually calms the itch down, which is it's weird. I was like, the only thing I changed on my diet is that I started eat back eating yogurt because mm-hmm. I don't drink milk. Eating our um, bougie yogurt. Yes, and I will not. I do not plan on stopping because I don't plan it on is so either. good. I keep it, I, yeah, I keep like, it stocked too. So I seen one of my sailors eating some um, uh, Activia Friday. <laughs> you twenty nine. I you thought this shit it. was so funny. <laughs> I was like, "You like that shit?" She was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Really?" Did you age shame her? <laughs> That's what it sounded like this story I is going. Her, Did you age I asked her, her, was it good? She said it tasted good to her. I was like, I remember when that shit first came out. It was fucking disgusting. <laughs> I ain't tried it since. Oh then God. one of the other dudes came in. He was like, hell yeah. He was like, you know, we eat only the best around here. He eats we, the we yogurt we be oh, eating. Oh, okay, so okay, We only okay. eat the best around here. <laughs> we, eat, like, we, eat our, we eat our yogurt out of the jar, not the plastic like, container. <laughs> Activity is for old people. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's I was what, like, you got issues with the bathroom or some shit. Fix the juice. She okay. just fell out last. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> all right, y'all. So our first topic is what's killing relationships nowadays? We see a lot of relationships on and off. Um, we see people, you know, posting their significant others and then 30 days, two months, six months later, <laughs> you know, all the, all the pictures deleted off their social media. So... What do you think is killing relationships nowadays? Oh, for uh, those that's watching us on live, love y'all. But um, to my family members that, uh, oh, you know, I love y'all, but there's definitely going to be some MFs and some Fs and some, <laughs> some SHITs. And we may say the N-word. We try not to, but that may come out every yeah. now and then if we feeling it. So I recommend that you guys not tune in. To those that's well, watching you on my just Facebook don't judge live. Us, that's all. Yeah, so <laughs> you know, but I, you know, I got, I got my family that's like hell yeah, and then I got my family that's like, mm, I'm gonna turn this off. Like this is too much. <laughs> I thought my mama was gonna be like that. When she said she listened to the first episode, she was like, "Oh my she, god!" She used to your mouth. Though. She also she she said she was just shaking her head. You know, oh my god, like my, my child, child my mouth. child. <laughs> but she said she was laughing the whole time. That's what's up. She was like, "Yo, y'all funny." <laughs> all right, so what do you think is killing relationships nowadays? Um, I think. People are selfish these days. I think more you got the women, oh, he got to do this. He got to take care of me. And he's like, well, she got to do this. She got to cook three. You know what I'm saying? All these, They have all these weird ass rules, but nobody's willing to meet in the middle mm-hmm. and, and be like, you know what? Our relationship involves at least one other person. I have needs. She has needs. Or I have needs. They have needs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. How can we meet in the middle um, to where it's not all about me? It's not mm-hmm. all about them. But now I feel like well, people are so fucking selfish. And then also a lot of people have not, they've ne- I'm not going to say they've never, but it's been such a long time since they've seen a healthy relationship that they can mm-hmm. emulate. True. You know, they think that, hell, this is what they do on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Mm-hmm. This must be what we're supposed to do. And it's like, you do know that's for entertainment, right? Mm-hmm. If you think that's the, that I wouldn't base my relationship on what they doing over there. For one, y'all went to completely different tax brackets. Mm-hmm. Let's start there. Yeah. Um, I think that that those are my biggest ones. And then people aren't willing to water their own grass. They think they always think the grass is green on the other side. Um, but instead of realizing, hey, if I were willing to, if I actually put in the work and water my own grass, I could have that same grass because everything that look good to you ain't good for you. Right. A lot of these young people don't understand that. Like, oh, she fat, shorty thick, mm-hmm. shorty this, he this, he got, ooh, he got them gray sweatpants on, ooh. Mm-hmm. You do know it's more than just freaking in a freaking relationship, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's more stuff like that Like that should be that. icing, that should be icing on the cake. The <laughs> right. cake should be... You know, what y'all value, what y'all like about each other, you know, how do y'all balance each other out? Again, Absolutely. why do you get along with this person? Why do you like being in this person's space so much? Like, that's what the cake is and yeah. the icing on top. Because, you know, the icing, I don't know if this is going to make sense to y'all, but it makes sense to me. You can have different types of icing on the cake. Yeah. You can have, and you can have different types of cake too, but not every 
icing goes with every type of cake. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, that makes sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> you, but the listeners be like, what the fuck she talking about? No, icing and cake and shit. Just... <laughs> apply it to this relationship apply it to this conversation okay i think what's killer relationships nowadays number one is social media we didn't have when we was coming up mm-hmm. we did have some type of some type of social media we we was on uh well i know i was on i was on myspace i was on black planet I need to never did either one. Of them. Um, and then Facebook came out, but Facebook was just for college, college students. students. Yeah. And then they, I remember, I, from what I remember, they opened it up to high school students, and that's when I got on. But I guess that era was okay. Now nah, they just opened it up to everybody. It wasn't just college students; they just opened up to everybody. So I've been on Facebook since the first year it came out, or whatever. When did it come out? What was the first year? I want to say Facebook came out. It had to be like. 2004, 2005-ish, okay, well, I 2006. Remember, I didn't join it until 2007. And the only reason why I did join is because I'm the only one of my parents' children mm-hmm. that's in the military. Oh, okay. so the, And then I had their only granddaughter. So that was so that they could see her grow Keep up Keep up with well. you guys, yeah. yeah. But I think, yeah, when it comes to social media, you know, it's all about likes and going live and... You know the famous uh, the famous quote. You know, shoot me a DM or who's in your DM and stuff like that. I think that's what's killing relationship nowadays. Like, girls will get mad because and men too will get mad. Oh, you like that person pick or <laughs> why you following all these fat booty bitches and you know what I'm saying? It's like okay, we 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 dwelling too much on the on the social media aspect. Like yeah, instead of instead of me texting you or calling you, I could just slide in your DM like, oh, your significant other, they can get in your phone, but can they get in your social media? Can they get oh, in your Instagram? I didn't think about it. I didn't even and then think the Snapchats that. is like, oh, you can send someone. I've delete. never been on Snapchat, but I guess, yeah, you can send someone to Snapchat. Yeah, and then it, it, yeah, like and it deletes, yeah. So little things like that, so. Yeah, I, I can't say, well, maybe that may pay play a small part of it, but to me, social media just pretty much amplified what was already going on. People remember we had pages back in the day. They was cheating with pages. Yeah, I never had a page, but yeah, I one, remember. One, four, three, you know, they different codes and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I think social media just just pretty much amplified what was already being done. People, those um, insecurities that those people have, they didn't just start because of social media. Mm-hmm. They already had those insecurities. Social media just made it like a little, I'm going to say a little worse. I mean, I, I guess it could be. Like think about chat rooms and. You know, you asking someone what they look like and they can send you a fake picture. You know, the catfishing was a thing. It's still kind of a thing. <laughs> yeah, you know I what I'm saying? Like, you can just portray. Still getting caught on that shit. Yeah, like, like yeah, we still out here catfishing people. Like, come on now. So, and people with full blown relationships, oh my God, I love this person. I'm in love with them. We're going to get Ooh. married. And then they meet up with each other and it's like, you've been lying to me this whole time. And it's like, well, what did you expect? You really yeah. think you fell, in, you fell in love with this person on social media and every time you try to FaceTime them and talk to them, they, they had an excuse. Right. Like, come on now. Let's put two and two together. Two and two don't make three. Like if two and two is four. Like come on now. Yeah, I get, so. I get that. But I, I feel like that it don't work for people that don't know the fucking difference. You're not able to differentiate between what's reality and what's not. Again, like, social social media. Well, I'm just saying social media. I, I can't, it's it blows my mind when I meet these young kids that be like, oh, you know, if it's on uh, Snapchat or if it's on this or if it's on that. It must be real, you know, stuff like yeah. that. And I be looking at them like, are you dumb? If it's not on video, it didn't like, happen. Yeah, exactly. And Wait, I just what? Be like, you know, when I grew up, <laughs> I didn't get my first cell phone. And it was a flip phone. It was a Nokia. I think that's what Q said when he was here. He was like, if there ain't no receipts, it didn't happen. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But I'm just saying, we had this- cell phones. I had a Nextel with a chirp, like, with the walkie-talkie. Mm-hmm. We didn't have none of the, well, we had, obviously, not what we have now. And I feel like. Life was simpler back then mm-hmm. because you actually, like you said, you actually had to pick up the phone. Mm-hmm. If you gonna slide on somebody's DMs, you actually going to their house, mm-hmm. and you know you gonna catch them after work or after mm-hmm. school or something. And the most we did was like, okay, we gonna meet up at this place. Like us, it was meet up. That at was the, sliding at the somebody's DMs, ring. or yeah, or you, uh, or we gonna meet up at the the, the fucking uh, the junior varsity basketball game or football right. game or something like that. Yeah. Now it's just like this. I, I don't look at social media as real. Like, like I do understand. The, the side of social media of teaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? mm-hmm. But the side where a relation, you, everybody want an Instagram model. I was looking at a picture yesterday, of, you know, just scrolling down my um, Instagram. You know I me, mean? I, I give credit what credit is due, but they, it was like these four women on there. And it was so funny to me, I couldn't do nothing but laugh. 
They all had the same fucking shape. I was just like, y'all all went to the same doctor? I mean, damn. <laughs> like, and, and again, I'm not shaming, but yeah. that's not real to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It could be I'm older, but I don't understand people that feel like social media is a place. First of all, whatever goes on in a relationship, that shit is private. It should be private. Oh my God, the people that post their relationships <laughs> yes. and what they mad about. Thank and- you. Like, you don't go vent to social media. You don't go vent to anybody because what I was always taught was a listening ear is always a running fucking mouth. Right. So, if you don't you want your business to be told, media, don't tell it. Mm-hmm. And you got 1.7 million likes. Mm-hmm. Everybody know your business. Now. Mm-hmm. Like, and why you putting your you business, that? you putting your business out there for the public to for the public to openly comment and give and their opinion you. about it. Yeah, and judge you. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, I'd be like, uh-uh, judge your mama. Don't judge me. Look, um, I, I said what I said and I meant it. <laughs> <laughs> the other one I have is, I mean, and we, we're going to talk about this when we talk about the divorce rates and marriage rules, but I feel like there's there's not enough energy for people to put in work into their relationships. Like, being in a relationship is work. It may not be as much work as a marriage, but it definitely is work. Like, I feel like some people are so easy, so easy to quit because that's the easiest thing yes. to do. Like, you know, and I understand, like you know, I understand you have the mental side. Like, it's, the relationship's not good for you mentally. But again, it's like, okay, if you, a part of you really wants this relationship to work, so work at it. But okay, you're but so let me easy. Add to what you just said, go ahead. Like some, you said it's so easy for some people to quit. You know, a relationship. The other side of that is. It don't necessarily mean that it's just like, you know, I'm just quitting because I'm just done with this shit. I think sometimes people realize when they fucking, they, they, or they realize early when they fucking time is being wasted. True. Because my thing is True. with me, I'm going to fight for this relationship as much as you going to fight for it. But I'm not fighting by my damn self. Right. So the point where I feel like I'm the only one fighting, mm-hmm. I'm out. Yeah. I don't care if it was two right. days or 20 years. Why am I the only one putting in energy into making <laughs> exactly. this work and you just, you know, sitting around? I mean, like- it is. I think some of the, the other side of that, uh, <clears throat> where people quit in those relationships fast, could be and actually is. Like, we always want a quick, quick, quick finished product. We want mm-hmm. this dressed up. But, you know, even the, the That most immediate success- solution, that immediate product, that Absolutely. immediate result. Yeah. Those those relationships or those people that we have, we can, you know, that people, who are some people that, that, that are emulated? Um, I always say Jay-Z and Beyonce because they call them a power couple. Mm-hmm. Even if their relationship is perfect for them. Mm-hmm. We we seen shit unfold over the years. Mm-hmm. It ain't always been perfect like that, right? But they put they continue to put in the work because they both were fighting for that relationship, right. and we can only go off what we see with them too. Exactly, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's even the most successful relationships. My grandparents have been married. I'm almost sixty three. They've been married sixty years this year mm-hmm. in July, and I can remember being 16. fifty years. 50, I'm sorry, 50. You said six, I was like, they got 50. married at three years old? <laughs> I say, hey, what's my the bad. secret? My Grandma, bad. what's the secret? Or your mom, what's the secret? My bad, I mean, 50 years <laughs> like, this damn, year. okay. But I do remember being like Promise that birth. 16 years old where they did not live in the same house. Mm. They, they, they didn't divorce. They separated like, yo, you get your shit together. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get my shit together. Mm-hmm. My grandma was a bully. But anywho, that's another story. <laughs> but my granddaddy wasn't perfect either. But now they're still, they're in their uh, 80s now. And they're yeah. still freaking married. Yeah. You know what I mean? Back then it was like, I feel like people had, I think people more so married, not just for money. People mm-hmm. were more so marrying for love back then. And that's not that. People, I know it's motherfuckers out here ain't marrying for love because I feel like if we start talking about the difference in the races and the demographics, we know who the fuck marrying for money and we know who the fuck marrying for love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> However, comma, I digress. Mm. Um, Should I they, hide my face? now? I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, because they loved each other. You know what I'm saying? They also, they both had something to lose. Mm-hmm. You know, they had four kids. Yeah. And if he left, granted, when they wasn't staying together, I mean, I know they never going to be watching this. You know, they too old to be on podcast. Mm-hmm. But he was cheating. <laughs> he bought his, his girl, his side chick, a, a car. And she found a receipt for it. It was a red Corvette, y'all. And I seen him talking Dang, about it. it had to be red, it though. It was a red Corvette. <laughs> Of course, I ain't, I ain't spill the beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, she found the receipts. hmm He was fucking up. Mm-hmm. So, yes, they deserve to be in separate spaces until she figured out. But my grandmother realized that, like, 
I'd be damned if I fucking put all this work into this man for another bitch to have him. Whew. You know what I'm saying? Damn, you, pre- girl. 50 years later, they still married, y'all. Well, I feel like you just pulled the thought right out of my head. <laughs> like, <laughs> like mm, how about, let me let me send I you. I ain't building this. This ain't no motherfucking build a man. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> let me send you on your way. And I'm, I'm happy we did what we did right. when we did it. And we did it together. And I showed you some things. But I'm going to just stop right here. And you continue on your way by yourself. Right. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, we just not on the same page, but you know, that's you're another bad topic. Okay, bad let's let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, why do you think um, divorce rates are so high? Well, you answer first. I'm gonna answer this one first. So, yeah. I feel like divorce rates are so high. Again, quitting is the easiest thing to do. Mm-hmm. Um, we're and I'm saying we, and I, I probably want to say more more of us women than men. We're more in love with getting the ring, planning the wedding, posting the videos and the pictures and matching outfits and posing and stuff like we into in love with the process. But after the process is over and now it's time to live under the same roof and actually be husband and wife, Mm -hmm. the shit is not what they thought it was going to be. And they don't want to put in the work and actually stick it out. So that's why I feel like people are divorcing really, really 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 fast and then the third is really covid um <laughs> and this is i'm just going off what the reports and you know the the articles and stuff that i've looked at and it's like you know before covid you know we wasn't sitting down we was we was always on the go i was on the go mm-hmm. covid made us sit the f down mm-hmm. and folks realize like damn i really don't like you. i don't yeah i really don't <laughs> like you like all this time you've been this asshole or all this time you've been doing it like this and I ain't never noticed, but now I notice, okay, I'm fucking done with you. Like, <laughs> let's move on. So, but yeah, um, yeah, the main thing is like, okay, it's easy. It's easy to quit. It's yeah. easy to toss it up. Like there are a lot of couples out here who are going through a divorce publicly. Like I didn't think Tiana Taylor and Iman, Iman uh, Shummer were going to, I thought it was going to stick it out forever because they just mesh so well. Yeah. But as time goes on, you know, you can grow apart. Shit changes. Yeah. And then there's this side that we don't get to see. Exactly. You know, of course, nobody, I ain't never met the perfect man. I mean, when I do, you know, I don't know that I ever will. Uh, we all have our flaws. We are all human beings. We're not mm-hmm. robots. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So I look at relationships, marriage. Mm-hmm. Ugh. I would do anything for my spouse. I, I love them with everything in me. But it's some days I could just fucking. But they said that's how. So it's goddamn eyeballs pop out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just saying, like, mm. I will say, even on those days, I still get. I, I I I guess I kind of live by that eighty twenty rule for real. Mm-hmm. I remember when that came out when we seen it on why do I why did I get married? And I was like when I got older and I like thought about that shit like, damn you really I ain't never gonna get a hundred percent. You know if I'll get my eighty, but I think that marriage is people say a lot of people say fifty fifty. I think marriage is whatever is required. Mm-hmm. If you have committed to this person, you know, y'all remember why y'all got married, why y'all fell in love. Now, if y'all got married on a business arrangement, I mean, it only happens. Only way that works is if you got your people, you got your concubines, he you got his. It happens. You know what I mean? It does. Now, yeah. So we're not talking about them because them people will probably never divorce. Mm-hmm. We're talking about the ones that thought they got married for love reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, I think with within a marriage, you know, we could all, it's easy to say marriage is 50-50. When we talk about the financial aspect of it. But it's more than finances that goes into a marriage. When and you have children, you know, you have assets, you have all these other different factors. You know, you got his job, you got my job, we got 401ks, you got reti- all these different stuff like that. And people don't, they don't think about all that stuff. I mean, I mean finance is just one thing. Yeah, but that's one you got, small You got part communication of it. and you got teamwork. That's what I was about to say. And the kids, like even, you know, kids or no kids, like. Things like that, and and also planning for the future. Absolutely, you have to sit down and set goals and stuff like that. And I mean, and I've said it before. That's kind of why I walked away from my marriage is because okay, I realized I was being fed a story, mm-hmm. I was being shown some things, but then as we further di- as we fur- move forward, okay, was it all show? It, it was just it. It came out to be that it was all talk. Mm. We're not on the same page. So moving forward, I know that the next person I decide to be with, and we'll get to that when we're talking about uh, applying marriage rules to dating, 
like I want to make sure me and that person are on the same page. Like, we don't have to have the same exact plans, uh-huh. but, like, we're on the same page as in, you know, we're trying to save money. What are we doing with our careers? Uh-huh. Planning stuff with, you know, kids, if he has kids or not, or, you know, if we want to have kids together. Uh-huh. Like, what are we doing in the future? Do we want to travel? Do we want to invest? Do we want to start our own business? You know what I'm saying? Have those types of conversations, those talks. And when stuff changes, you let that person know if you feel differently, you know, if your feelings change. Uh-huh. Let's communicate. Also, and that's yes. not that's not what I had. So so with that, with your new spouse, not just communicating verbally, seeing is believing. Mm-hmm. So this person ain't showing you the, the look. The action got to follow I behind the words. You better than I, can, I can show you better than I can tell you mm-hmm. on any given day. Mm-hmm. So if this motherfucker ain't showing you. And mm-hmm. it's just like, you know, am I one of one of those people that's going to realize, you know, my time is fucking being wasted? Mm-hmm. Are you playing in my face or what? Mm-hmm. Prayerfully, that's not the case. I don't think that, that I think when something like that happens, like, you know, because you have uh, kind of like a lessons learned mm-hmm. from your previous mm-hmm. uh, marriage, you know what to look for early. Yeah. Those do signs you, are going to be there. Do you think, not do you think, does, when you got married, does the, I'm just saying, we'll, we'll just say his name, Tony. We talked about him before, but does he have all of you? What do you mean? Does he have all of you? Like, are you 100% in with him? Absolutely. Does he have all of you? Because Absolutely. I I gave my all into this person. Now, you know, things are over. I'm cool, good with it. Mm-hmm. I'm glad it's over, moved on. But now I'm like, damn, do I want to do that again? Yeah. Because I've said, I, like, people I have asked me, that. like, do you see yourself getting married again? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm on guard because of everything that happened with X, Y, and Z. Yeah. I kind of gave that person all of me. I was all the way in yeah. with this person and discovering that 80% of it was a lie. Mm, I don't know if I want to do that but again. That's not, you know but what that's I mean? not, that mindset wouldn't be good going into the next relationship. Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. Um, back to your question. Yes, he does have all of me. Let me tell you why. Because <laughs> I ain't ever doing this shit again. So if it don't fucking work out, <laughs> deuces. Sis ain't look. It's look. It's been a long, hard fucking road. You gonna be a baddie after that, <laughs> bitch? Yes. You know that milf that that's been calling me for a long, oh my long gosh. time. So that's but yes. now I get it. That Absolutely. Makes sense. But you it know we sense. we have a lot of history. You know what I mean? Um, we have really been through the good, the bad, the ugly. Mm-hmm. Um, it don't seem like it though. But again, there's stuff that I stuff that oh, I don't yeah. know. But it don't. <laughs> I mean, I know, oh, yeah. I know y'all been through it, but it's like, you know, from the outside looking in, it's to, just to like... where we are now. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, to where we are now. Like, yes, yes, absolutely. Because when I think about everything that we've been through, um, and now, you know, us deciding to stay together, and it's like, okay. So, we done been through pretty much the worst part of mm-hmm. it. Let's see what the best part can be. Mm-hmm. And so, I think that's what we're going through now, um, which is a good thing for both of us, because... Mm-hmm. We had always been the type, the couple, the type of couple where we would sit down and write down our goals like every, I'm going to say we did it at least twice a year where as we knocked off goals, we're like, hey, do we got something else we want to work on? Mm-hmm. So like now, you know, our biggest thing is buying our land. Mm-hmm. Of course, nobody was supposed to get a new car. <laughs> Until Things the land happen. was bald, Things you know? happen to bring you back in like, skirt, you might want to rethink that because exactly. this just happened. So, yeah. I mean, it's it's just a little small, little detour, whatever. But we're still um, aiming and getting closer to buying our land. That's like a, that's always been like a, a really, really big goal for her. That, that was a, we had that as a three-year um, goal. Mm-hmm. So this is year two. Mm-hmm. Or whatever, we'll get it. And, mm-hmm. you know, with the land, you know, obviously build our dream house and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I I can't see me giving nobody else this type of energy. Because, you know, I don't like people like that. You know, I want to know people, <laughs> like, like, people like that. You know, I, I have fun with you. You know, we can have fun in the bedroom if that's what it is. You know, it is it be, it be what it be. And, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> and I keep telling these, you know, I know we went off topic, but I don't care. I keep telling these dudes, like, y'all cool. I get it. You slide in the DMs. But if the only thing you're offering me is the D, sorry. Y'all listening, Hell, but I'm. Dog on, uh, if the only thing you're offering me is the D, <laughs> then keep it moving because we can women we can get D from anywhere. Absolutely, and there are so it's many. open and out here. You know what I mean? Like, so if that's all that you're offering me, you can move on to the move on to the next because that's not yeah. what I'm. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm not just looking to be physical with anybody. Come offer me what money can't buy. Money can buy 
Mm. Yeah. But money can't buy passion, um, affection, yes. communication. You know what I'm saying? Just comfort. Money can't buy those right. things. You know what I mean? That's what I'm so. really interested in, those things that don't cost. And I think those things mean more to me than anything you could ever buy me. Mm-hmm. Um, now, nah, hundred, you know, these divorces, people, like you said, social media is probably more than likely a, a part of it. I didn't know COVID until you told me. I, I mean, I just realized, you know, during COVID, I, I told wanna... my spouse, like, I think I really, I really think I like you. <laughs> cause, like, I mean, you don't you know, bother me. Yeah, because, you know, we already are homebodies. It's like COVID didn't change us at all. I want to say it was somewhere between like 51 and 55% that divorce rate shot up. Wow. But it, But it just makes sense. It's like. If you and your spouse are always on the go, the kids are taken care of, you're not really paying attention Some of the, most of the time with what your spouse is doing. Like, y'all may have uh-huh. that tea time, pillow talk time at <laughs> night. But other than that, y'all just on the go. Life gets busy. But then when COVID set us down... <laughs> And you just sitting in the house. He's like, I hate the you way. Make, you, the kids, like, I hate your black skin. You know what I'm saying? The kids is homeschooling or whatever. And then it's like you sitting around and you're not really working. And then you just notice like, I don't like the way this motherfucker chewing his food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or like, did you just that. get, did you get up and not brush your teeth this morning? Ooh, just because you're not I'll leaving the you. house? Did you, did you not wash your ass today? <laughs> or, you know what I'm saying? Little stuff, little stuff you I didn't pay didn't attention to before, but it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Like, can you just, well, I know you can't just imagine, but I can just imagine like you go from one routine to the other and then it's like it slows down life slows down and then you just realize you start to nitpick because you ain't got nothing else to do but look Damn. at this other person wow think about it think about it you ain't got nothing to do but I sit and talk to this person and it's like had as much of an impact on the marriage the divorce phrase the reason why i'm gonna say that is because when you get married it's what does they say to death do you part you know what i mean so Y'all are gonna start young, or or you know y'all gonna start young at one at some point in, in the marriage, mm-hmm. and then y'all are gonna grow and develop together. So mm-hmm. there's not gonna always be good times. So I feel like y'all being in a house together shouldn't have been a reason for you being like you know I don't even think I want to do this shit. Now if motherfuckers is mean and nasty, they didn't just start being that way. But, but it you, was magnified yes, in COVID. I yes, guess. yes. That's what um, I, I think. That's the point where I'm coming from. Is like, damn, I didn't yeah. notice this until yeah. now. You know what I mean? Like, I just didn't pay attention to because life is going. We're going through the days and stuff like that. But actually sitting down and doing nothing, and damn, you sitting here talking to this person. It's like you have a fucked up way of thinking. Why am I with you? I mean, I'm just <laughs> that's just an example. But <laughs> oh, I mean, to me, it, it it makes sense. It just it just it makes does. Sense I just something something I just never thought about. Something else I was just thinking about. I think one of the reasons why divorces could have been higher, um, or relationships were breaking up, whatever you want to say, because some people have common law marriages or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I think people are in the are in love with the idea of a certain person. Oh, a person. Okay. Or certain. You know, I, I say that because, like, sometimes, like, motherfuckers feel like you are that person. Like you said, you gave your all. You put 110% mm-hmm. into, that, into that marriage, and you weren't. it wasn't reciprocated the way it should have been reciprocated. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. people fall in love with the idea of oh, people ma- like us, mm-hmm. but they don't realize what it takes to be with people like us. You know what I mean? Like, mm, I yo, I that. make this shit look good. I, I feel tell you, that. I make this shit look easy. But I promise you, motherfuckers always tell me all the time, like, man, your husband is so lucky. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, what I would do, trust me. No, you wouldn't. Because I am not easy to fucking be with. I make this shit look easy. And he will fucking tell you. Like, I, 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 I have to agree with that. Because there'll be times I'll be sitting there and y'all have a little banter and I'm like, I feel like I need to go to fuck home because <laughs> but, but I don't see, like what the fuck he just said, but I don't like what she just said either. That's my friend. Like, how are they not like fighting right now? I'm like, you know, I might need to go to fuck home. That's how we are. We that's look, how y'all banter. We all, yeah. we, and I think that's that like, communication she, we just talked about. Yeah, that. I'm like, was she not just offensive by what he just look, said? Like, I feel offended. He wasn't one, even talking to me. You know, one thing about me and that asshole of mine, <laughs> we gonna communicate, 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 <laughs> good, bad, and different. Like we have this thing where we try not to go to bed <laughs> mad at each other. Yeah. But then I think he is like the worst with it because that motherfucker tell me don't don't wake up and try to shit in my Cheerios. Oh my god. Oh, I ain't finna be the only one around here walk around here with an attitude. <laughs> I be Jesus. laughing. Part of part of it is I ain't shit because a lot of times I just be laughing like. Mm-hmm. Dude, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna go back to what I said about um, 
people being infatuated with the idea of getting married. Mm-hmm. Like, if you notice, oh, I got the ring, I got the ring, or oh, you better give me a good ring, and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, and I've seen it on, I see reels and stuff like that too. And it's like, why are you so focused on the ring? Right. Like, why does the ring have to be a certain way, or the proposal has to be a certain way? Like, that's why I didn't even want to do a wedding. Yeah. It you wasn't. Know how I did. It wasn't my idea to do a wedding at all. Like I'm like, let's just go to the courthouse. But because so because their first marriage, their first marriage didn't didn't plan out right. Or should I say, they went to the courthouse. He wanted to do something different. He wanted okay. the family, whatever, to be there. But I knew it was gonna take a lot of energy, a mm. lot of time, and some money to plan a wedding. Yeah, yeah, I feel you on that. And then some. But what I where I'm coming from is like some women get caught up in that get caught up in the show and you know what I'm saying oh the wedding dress and again taking the photos and having the bridesmaids and all type of you know colors and stuff which is fine it's cool but it's like the wedding becomes bigger than that why why the, are we the, actually here exactly we're here like, to get married get it's like what's the difference in getting married at a courthouse and having this big I say all the time fifty when I forty see, you know thousand dollar wedding and it's like at the end of the day what happened Y'all I love married. look I love seeing I'd be like look I'm glad better you than me goddamn it I love seeing you know my thing is I love black love I love love period but I love to see black people get married and. When I see these weddings, I be like, God damn, who came for money? Like, mm-hmm. you spend $50,000 on a fucking wedding? Like, I feel like the wedding is just a show. And the people that show up are those that are pretty much paying, play- not all of them. Mm-hmm. They're preying on your demise. They just want to be like, yep, they spent, mm-hmm. you know, she, girl, you know she spent $50,000 on that wedding. Look, mm-hmm. they ain't even last five years. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for for us, I'm we, obviously, we're like you. Um, we're very private people. Like, mm-hmm. When my in-laws found out we got married, it was like almost a year. Well, I didn't find out until like when I came back to Virginia, I think, because you didn't tell me until yeah. Because yeah, I, I you was like, like yeah, we, you I was, was like just, yeah, we got married in Colorado. I just felt like it was like <laughs> you know we've been together forever. I felt like everybody been waiting for it anyway, so it's just like what's you know what mm-hmm. what's that one more step? We mm-hmm. we would have stayed together, married or. Maybe not. Married or not. But. I don't even, but honestly, looking at you and knowing you for so long, you not really the type to, I don't think you're the type to like want to put on a wedding dress and walk down the aisle and say your vows. I, I and, thought I wanted to at one point, but I, you know me, I'm so private. Mm-hmm. So I would never be the type that I'm about to have this 200 man people wedding or whatever. Mm-hmm. My wedding would be something so small and so personal to where like we can do it like in a somebody's backyard mm-hmm. and I only want the people people that i really fuck with there you know what i mean like you, you know you what know. i do think y'all should do is take photos like when the last time y'all have taken family you photos I mean and then get take that man to get in a picture and then just take like <laughs> it could be something simple like i see the simple pictures with like just a white button up and some jeans yeah we you know little things doing, like that um, yeah things maybe because i would love a picture to put like you and tony or you know the family or whatever on the wall like i got you kayla and Jaden, but i ain't got tony in this bitch because I, I ain't got no got pictures, pictures in, the <laughs> in my own house <laughs> Cause I got I pictures see. with me and all the kids, me, CJ, Kayla. <laughs> like I got pictures with me and the kids, but yeah. he be the one behind the now, camera taking yeah. the pictures. Yeah, and now like, that I think about it, he would get irritated if y'all was to do a photo shoot. Like, how many more pictures we got? And then he gonna irritate posing. me, yeah, and mm-hmm. then make them feel some kind of way. Mm-hmm. So I just kind of like leave him alone with stuff like that. Yeah, you know, I have some nice pictures uh, that we've been uh, we've taken like off guards, mm-hmm. um, where somebody else took of us or whatever. Um, but that's probably the best. I think those are probably the best pictures to t- catch him in. Probably. He's like the Grinch. You'd be like, dude, buy humbug. Like, my God. <laughs> Who the fuck did I marry? And here go Kayla. I tell him all the time he a fucking psychopath. <laughs> Kayla be like, Mom, you married him? I was like, well, if he killed anybody, I mean, he done with that part of oh his life. Oh, my God. Shit. Said Jesus. <laughs> you know, these are the conversations that we have in my house. But in all seriousness, no, I think, I think, uh. People are in love with the idea, like you said, with the idea of the wedding. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, he spent all this money or she spent all this mm-hmm. money. We, You know what I'm saying? And it's then putting it, on, putting it on social media for other people to be like, oh, my God, it was so beautiful. And you guys look so exactly. great. Exactly. If that's what you want to do, cool. But there's work after all that. So I, I think, I don't think, I think, I think everybody deserves a wedding if they want one. Oh, absolutely. But I think. Because we see, we we know that people praying like, hmm, you know, they praying, they just want to see. I think people should wait 
two, five years down the road to have that big wedding. Like a vow renewal type yeah, thing? Yeah. Some people say vow renewals is like the start of the end or something like that's really? cursing cursing your marriage or something i've heard that too yeah oh i've not heard that. but you know there's some people that's always like damn you always got something negative to say about a positive thing exactly, like relax because it didn't work out for you it's <laughs> not gonna work out for you. exactly like, no but I, I think i think we have to refocus ourselves both parties mm-hmm. on why we got married mm-hmm. what it was about this person that made me fall in love with them you know mm-hmm. was it their infectious laugh was it the fact they sway whatever the reason was mm-hmm. i think we have to refocus our attention on that and then focus and then work toward you know well how can i get back to that where we were like we really love being around each other yeah but i think because like you said people aren't willing to put in the time mm-hmm. because Maybe they've not seen a successful marriage, you know. Maybe they don't know nobody that's been married, you know. Um, like you said, maybe on social media. Well, this ain't had to do it on social media. Um, mm-hmm. what, whatever the case may be, I think divorce rates are higher because essentially we just real selfish. And I say that because I don't think there's, granted, you know, we all got our deal breakers, but I think if you 100% wholeheartedly love that individual, it shouldn't be too many things that y'all can't come back from. Mm-hmm. You know I agree saying? with that. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I'm, I'm saying, I say too many things. Um, cheating is a deal breaker for me. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. Ooh, okay, that's another topic. Yeah, that's another topic. Let's move that's on. That's for me. Let's move on. No, okay. I, I agree, but then I don't agree. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we're going to move on. That's okay. another topic. Okay. Mm. Moving on. Moving, Moving on. Along. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. All right. So, because um, I'm like, ooh, that's the topic we definitely got to talk about. Okay. Um, okay. Should you apply marriage rules when you're dating? So, don't get confused by the word or don't get, don't get, don't stumble on the, the phrase marriage rules. I think when we, when I say marriage rules is like, I think I'm like marriage traits. So again, I've been married before divorced now and I'm not out here looking to just date. I'm not out here looking to just have a good time and be like casual or anything like that. Cool. We, we're going to chill. We're going to chill. Right. But if I'm going to actually know shit, sit and date you, spend time with you, I'm looking for it to go a little bit further. You know, if I see that in you, so I will do things that I'm going to continue to do in the marriage, but I'm looking for, when it comes to marriage rules, I'm looking for stuff like effective communication Mm -hmm. and I'm looking for that not to change. Like I'm going to communicate with you as if you're my future husband, if that makes sense. Like the communication is not going to change. Now there are some things I am going to say for the marriage, i.e., you're my husband now, so now I'm going to amp it up a little bit. And I think I'm coming from <clears throat> the sexual aspect of things, you know, Facebook Live, if y'all hear me, you know, let me get an amen. She no, let me stop. She can't, she can't be just throwing it back to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so there's certain things. Because, you know what I'm saying, like, you want to you wanna keep it spicy. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to do spicy, spicy shit with you and we just dating. Mm-hmm. And now I ain't got nothing left to give you once we right. get married, if that makes sense. Right. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the things that I want to do for you. So I want to cook for you. I want to right, you know, you rub your back. To. Yeah, give you a massage and stuff like that. Um, I think that's more so where I'm coming from as far as like marriage rules. Some people won't do certain things. It's like, no, nah, I only do that for my husband or blah blah blah. And it's like I agree so with So you that, just though. waiting. I mean, I agree with it to a certain extent, but right, it's like to a extent, my thing is kind of show me that you are that material and you're willing to do those things. Mm-hmm. Show me it now. You don't have to spoil me. <laughs> you don't have to do it all the time. You know what I'm saying? But show me that you are capable and willing to do it. And when we do cross over that threshold into marriage, your energy is going to be the same because you've already been doing it. Now you just have to amp it up a little bit or... You know what I mean? Like I do understand what you're saying, but we have to be careful with that. Show me that you're willing to do it when we're dating, because my grandma used to always say, "Why buy a cow when you can get the milk for free?" Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we can talk about certain things, like yeah, you know, you know, whatever. You know, we had these spicy conversations, but you got to be careful which when you when it comes down to you showing that you're willing to do it, showing is uh, what is it, seeing is believing, right? Mm-hmm. Now you do it one time. Now the motherfuckers start to expect that she will. 
I mean, it wasn't a problem before. Now it's a problem. Now what should you? I, I'm just saying you should leave something to the there imagination. Should be something to the imagination, and I think that there should be some things that you don't do while you're dating um, that you will do when you're married. I only say that because sometimes you have these very immature men, and that's not to say we all have been immature at a time. Mm -hmm. um, but we have these men that's like, well, shit, you know, if she gonna do all this, why the fuck I gotta marry her? Mm -hmm. She already doing everything a wife would be doing. Mm -hmm. That's why I think you find more people that's like, nah, I only do that for my husband or whatever. Mm -hmm. From that statement, we see that more often than not. Like, being in a relationship, Think about my my previous relationship was with this man almost eight years, mm -hmm. and I was pretty much his wife. Mm -hmm. Did everything for this man, what nothing I wouldn't do for him. Mm -hmm. I think he got to the point where he felt like, well, shit, I don't need to marry. We were engaged for a minute. I, I think he felt like, well, I don't need to marry her because he would never fix his shit. Mm -hmm. And you know his his shit was fucking cheating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> His shit was fucking cheating. And, and, and for me, like, I didn't want to go into a marriage like that. Because yeah. once you get married, those problems don't change. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They don't just fix themselves. Oh, because y'all got a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. You got his last name or whatever. Mm -hmm. That shit don't go away. So, I think that was one of the mistakes that I made back then. Granted, hindsight is twenty twenty. It wasn't a mistake. God orchestrated everything the way it was supposed to be orchestrated. Because if I had married that motherfucker, I would have killed him. That's just hands down. Mm. So God knew, you know, let this man, let her, let him keep fucking off. Mm -hmm. She not going to stay and with she, him. And at the same time, she's learning things Absolutely. in that relationship too. That yeah. relationship taught me what I will never do with anybody else. So I, I definitely agree with yes. having those, you know, we, we having those boundaries mm -hmm. that we aren't willing to allow ourselves or this person to cross until y'all get married. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because sometimes motherfuckers feel like, for real, for that's real shit. I know some of y'all done heard y'all grandma say, why about a cow when you get the milk fucked free? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, because you want to be considered as marriage material. If you notice, you see people in relationships, they've been in relationships for 13, 14, 15 years, and they still ain't got married. Mm -hmm. They break up. She was doing everything. She was throwing the back. She was doing it all, busting it down and everything. Mm -hmm. They break up six months later. He married to somebody else. Mm. This woman was more wholesome. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just, I just think you have to have that set that that set of have that collective set of boundaries that you're not willing to do um, or break until you get married. Mm -hmm. Like one of the things I probably wouldn't do. Obviously, I didn't do until I got married. I'm, I'm not a real big proponent for sharing all of my financial information. Okay. Because. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. People change all the fucking time. I agree, yeah. And you know, man, burnt my ass so goddamn good. Yeah. Um, But, whereas now, it's different because that was somebody, I, I was in a, just in a relationship with this person. Clearly, he didn't have, he and he never had any intention on doing right by me to make me a wife. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I say that because he wouldn't stop cheating. He knew I wasn't going to marry him while he was fucking cheating. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Damn, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I was going somewhere with that. I really was, y'all. And I'm sorry, I can't help you out because I'm listening, but I'm just like, oh, I can't, um, I don't know. No, no, no. Um, so going back to the statement, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? To add to that, mm -hmm. when you, when we get married, we become one. Okay, there's different types of milk that you're going to taste now. <laughs> You're gonna get you're gonna get to the oat milk. You're gonna get to the lactate milk. You're gonna get to the two percent in the whole milk. Like now, there's different types of milk that you're gonna be able to okay. experience because now you done lock me down. Okay, so so, so now you're not just getting the basic the basic meals. Like, sorry, I'm not trying to call these meals basic, but you know the small stuff like spaghetti. Yeah. You know some chicken wings. Nah, dude. Now you're getting the chicken wings, the mac and cheese, the collard greens, the cornbread, oh. and you get some sweet tea <laughs> okay. along with it. We doing it big. We I'm, yeah. we leveled up now. Yeah. When I level up, okay, cool. Now my energy and my actions are going to level up when I level up. I think that's kind of like where I'm coming from. Now, I agree with you. You have to create those boundaries. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm not going to give you I'm not going to give you the whole cake. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you're going to you're going to taste bits and pieces. I'm a I'm going to drop these crumbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so when yeah. you actually get to the big product, you get to experience the whole thing. And again, going back to like. You ain't getting this pole dancer. 
you ain't getting there's a lot of things you're not gonna get <laughs> right you know what i'm saying you you're you not gonna, gonna get, get look you gonna get married be like damn bitch what you yeah gonna you're not that? you're not gonna get the mystery under the the trench coat you're not gonna get the no. you know the little <laughs> the the rose petals that's leading you to a certain destination right, you're not gonna right. get you're not gonna get the text message that says hey meet me at this address at door ba 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 pick up yes. your key at the front desk so those are shit. good boundaries yeah to have, I yeah think. i think so i think i just think it's important that we not just women because men too you know mm-hmm. look motherfuckers look i i just have i have in my mind that men use women women use men you gotta always think that there's an ulterior motive. Do we share the same ulterior motive? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. If we do, cool. We get married. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Um, but if not, it's just like, yeah, I don't think I want to show him <laughs> that this time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you know, I I don't know if I want to have my kids around you like that. Or, you know what I'm saying? It could be something yeah. like that. Because for some women. They won't bring their kids around until it is like we're engaged. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't think it's that's a right or there's nothing right or wrong with that. I can't say that it's right or it's wrong because mm-hmm. we different. But again, it's important to have those boundaries. Like, and and don't just write them on paper or say this is what I'm gonna do next time. No, have a conversation Stick to that shit. Yeah, yes. and, and have a conversation about your goals, like. Again, when you're dating someone, or if you're just talking to someone, see what they're about, see Absolutely. what they're looking to do, see what their goals are. Like, hey, well, what you trying to do this year? Are you trying to take any trips? See where that person's head is at because they may not be on the same type of shit that you are. Okay, right. cool. And I need to move on to the next. If you get with someone or me, like if I get with someone, okay, we're going to have, we're probably going to have these conversations like every six months. Like, Hey, what are we doing? Cause you know, the seasons change. Absolutely. Like right now I will be talking about like, Hey, are we going to go somewhere this summer? Or are we just going to put our money away? Hey, well I'm on short duty. You know, we in the mili- yeah, military. What are we saving for? What is that big ticket? Idea exactly. That we want? Not Where are we? we want. Yeah. Are we going to go see your family on Christmas? Or are we going to see my family yeah. on Christmas? Or what are we doing for the holidays? You know, stuff like that. I want to, which I was having those conversations in my marriage, but you know what I'm saying? Again, I'm going to continue to do those yeah, but things. You shouldn't always be the person having to spearhead that. Like that's exactly where I'm coming from. Exactly. Like, yeah. You ask it sometimes. And that's what, what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. Like, are you, are you, you don't have to plan, but when I bring it up, even if I'm the only person bringing it up, cool, but let's communicate and have effect. Right. Like, tell me how you really feel. Yeah. Tell me how you really feel. Just right. don't, go along with it because you don't want that to be an argument. Like who said it's going to be an argument? If that's how you really feel, Hey, if we need to go to separate destinations for the holidays, it's funny, but I'm okay with it. I'm thinking <laughs> I'm all okay with that's that. No, not you, but, but I get what you're saying. I definitely get what you're you know saying. what I'm saying? Like, okay. Like if I'm saying in the dating phase, we're not married. But I'm saying like, all right, cool. We're dating been two or three years. Like, hey, if you really want to go nah, here, I ain't okay with that. You, <laughs> you got another family you going to? Why you don't want to spend the fucking holidays with me? What's going on? No, nah, y'all know I'm extra. Okay, baddie. <laughs> <laughs> you just went straight baddie mode on me just now. <laughs> on, but again, that's that's just me. It's like there's just certain things I'm okay with. Like, because yeah. again, um, from experience, I don't want you doing anything that you really don't, don't want to yeah. do. You're just doing it to please me and to make me happy. No, we both need yeah, to be yeah, happy yeah, or cool yeah, with it. Not make you happy. I like, understand sacrifices. Right. I understand compromises. But if it's some shit that you really don't want to do, express it and let's sit and have a conversation about it. Mm-hmm. And then let's come together and just compromise and make a decision. That's kind of like where I'm coming from with splitting from the splitting for the holidays and shit like that. No, I get that. We almost have to do that this Christmas. That's what I'm saying. Because you know Tony did yeah. not want to take that cruise. <laughs> I believe but it. But he fuck. I mean, look, I believe it. I believe that, it. He took that L for them cheering. <laughs> Hell, I feel like essentially we both took the L. I mean, it was oh my, my idea. Goodness. But you know, I knew he really didn't want to do it. He did it. Yeah. But because we had the same common goal, we're doing this for our children. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I feel you on that. Mm-hmm. Compromise. That was a sacrifice for him. Compromise, girl. <laughs> Woo. You better know he fucking made he made me self aware about that that decision every fucking four oh, hours. Oh, oh, trust me, I got the grown up when I started giving y'all <laughs> advice, and he was like, pretty he much he told me, man, go. I'm gonna need you to shut the fuck up, or I'm gonna change my mind about this cruise, and I'm just like, well, no, hear me out, bro. I'm just giving you some right? advice on what to do, what <laughs> we learn on our cruise. Like, chill, bro. I will never ask him to do that again. <laughs> but I appreciate the fact that he loved me enough to say you know what this is gonna make her happy in turn it makes our children happy. yeah i can suck this shit off for five days yeah so i and i commend him for that because 
I kind of feel like he probably enjoyed some things. He probably didn't enjoy 100% of it, but he probably looked back and was like, you know, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I could spare I'm glad I could say, yeah, I went on a cruise. Yeah. So now I could tell you what the, what the fuck is effed up about it. You know what I mean? Like, what? He ain't never taken another one. I, I believe it. <laughs> Me I believe either, it. probably. But at I'm least you know saying. you can experience it, you know, yeah. one time. So, yeah. all right, y'all. Well, that is it for today. Because, shoot, we almost had an hour. So. I kind of thought it some of these topics, so it do, it do, because we be, we be chit-chatting and chat-chitting, so, but um, as always, um, thank you guys for listening, um, again, we are, our, we are on Spotify, and also we have our own YouTube channel, um, we definitely uh, share these episodes on our social media, so just make sure you follow us, I am on Instagram and on Facebook, um, when it comes to Facebook, and you send me a friend request, it's probably going to sit idle for a couple of months. <laughs> That's just. I ain't no better. I'm just saying. That's just because I've had people send me a friend request, and then I go back maybe like a week later and it's gone. So that may sound weird or like childish, but it's like I feel some type of way. It's like you couldn't wait. They like you want to, like, you want an immediate response. Yeah, they do. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'm so petty. I'm like, if you really want to be my friend, and you will wait until I accept your friend request. But I'm like my real friends don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you so, oh so petty. I am. I am. But yeah, follow us on uh social media. I don't know if you want to put out your social media. You want people to follow you? You don't really be on your social media. I don't. Like that. I be on there fucking off. <laughs> I do. Sending I mean, me reels and I shit. Look, we be look. <laughs> we is here for the last. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So um next episode, ooh, we got we got some juicy topics. Um yeah, we got some real good ones. Y'all. So we're gonna talk about um the Chargers coach that got fired. We're gonna talk about that. That was a while ago, but we just have some questions we wanna uh talk about when it comes to that. Um for those people who date outside their race, is it because of trauma that they experience within their race? Mm-hmm. Um, we also got some scenarios. Um, would you go to the wedding that your ex and your family member is, you know, your ex and your family members getting married? Would you go to the wedding if you was invited? I wish we had people, people had so juicy. people can call in. And, oh, I know. Hey, all, right. Like, all right, call her. What you got? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we got some comments on live, <laughs> but, you know, it's way over there, so we can't read. Um, and then also we're going to talk about um, – how would you, so what would you do in this situation about paying for someone else's kid to go on vacation? Oh, so we're going to elaborate a little bit more now. Yeah, I know you got some shit to mm. say with that. So, all right, y'all. Well, yes. again, please tune into uh, future episodes. And uh, again, send us comments. Um, send us some topics that you want us to talk about. We'll definitely go for there. But thank you again for tuning in. Again, I'm Peace Courtney. Out. And I'm Glory. Peace and out, this y'all. was Impromptu Bourbon Sessions.